Hey, I'm Samuel. Uh, to not get injured, I'm knocking on wood. Welcome to another episode of How to Feel Good as a Climber. We are here at the Steinblock Bouldering Gym in Austria and we'd like to show you the first aid procedure of a sprained ankle because that's a very, very common accident while bouldering. Let's go. Oh, hello. Hey. What happened to you? Oh, I twisted my ankle. Are you sure about that? I think so. First of all, just check the side. Is there anybody else up there? Oh, there's somebody. Oh. Okay, then I can't see a bleeder. It doesn't look like an open fracture for me yet, but there's still the climbing shoe on. Leave the leg up here. Try to elevate it. Open the shoe carefully. Okay, can you build up some muscle tension for me? Try to remove it carefully first. Okay, we're expecting some swelling around here now. Talk to your patient. You don't want to have him uh, uncautious, so just talk to him. Look that everything is all right. Ask somebody else for help. Ah, uh, guys, can you help me, please, please? We have a little injury here. Can some ice, maybe if you run to the kitchen really quick, check what they have there, that would be kind of nice. And then um, take something in between. If you're very lucky, you can use an ice spray if you have it. Then, important is I have a finger here, so I can feel how cold it is. You always go in circles. Keep your distance, start here, go this direction. Circle. Circle in the other direction. You must feel how cold it is, that's very important. In the meantime, thank you very much. So what do we get here? This is a cold application, you can use this, or ice, or in worst case you have to run to a little creek and uh, make a towel wet or whatever you can get. Okay, then, these bandages are quite good, I think, because you wanna apply some compression so it's elevation, cooling, and compression, the three major things you want to do at the first sight. As you can see, I did not apply the cooling yet, because you want one layer between the cool packs or the ice and the injured foot. So I think one will be okay for in here for now. Just try to get in, if possible, and you have a supination trauma, the swelling will be here. Try to go in this direction, this direction with your foot. Can you hold it here, please? So I can apply some tension here to get the foot into the right direction right now. So, we have compression through the bandage, we have immediate cooling, and we have some cooling through this special ice pack here. Okay, now I would suggest that you leave this on for around 20 minutes, or as long as it is very hot, I mean, as long as, long as uh, the swelling keeps going, you just leave the cold on, then you take it away, you wait a bit, and if it starts to get very warm again, you ask your patient, you look at it, then you might cool again for several times, especially at the first day. Okay, but if you see the toes, you press on them, they turn white, but there should be some blood going back immediately. If not, if it stays white, or if your patient will have a tingly sensation or even getting blue on the toes, then you have to release a bit of uh, pressure from your bandage here. Then it was too tight in that case. And in this position I would maintain for the first, let's say, 15 minutes. Everybody comes down, your patient comes down, you talk to each other, and if you're feeling quite okay, 
Then after about 50 minutes, 20 minutes, you try to uh, slowly uh, get up with your patient. You're trying to go down here and go up slowly. Go on your left leg. Oh. You want to support your patient on this side. Hey, you all right? Yeah. There's nothing against a bit of pressure on the injured leg, if he can stand it. Okay, Klaus, what's the next step? Well, it depends on you. Um, first, you have to outrule a fracture that can be done via x-ray or via another examination with this little hammer here. You'll find somebody with some tests there and then we can say there's no fracture. So let's say you have only a supination trauma. If it's a mild or medium heavy one, you could apply a treatment, a fascia treatment that allows you to climb right afterwards. Uh, I would not suggest it if it's a very heavy swelling or very big supination trauma, then I would wait a bit. Sometimes I will still see patients, they have to wear a cast for about six weeks. I personally don't believe that this is the best treatment. I think you rather go to your therapist and together with your therapist, you should get your coordination back. In summary, first of all, elevation, compression, and cooling, if it just happened. Afterwards, I recommend that you go to a therapist, so individual treatment is key. Not immobilize it too long, and the stability has to get back. That's important, that's the way to treat it.